All right, Shalom, Shalom. We are the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of the Babylon the Great, which is America. First off and foremost, our praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kar Kadash. Double honors to thee, all the apostles, a great millstone, and salutations to the elect, wherever we may be. Brother Shapaya from GMS Chicago coming at you again with another quick lesson. And this is really um, you know, a story that happened to me uh, Saturday. And I'm just getting to it. They're like, the title of the lesson say, let go and let Yahweh. Because once you understand that Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai controls everything, including you, even your thought process, you have to let go and let Yahweh do what he do. Who can resist the will of the Lord? Simply put, okay? This is Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in Yahweh with all thy heart and lean not into thy own understanding. So and I'm give you a quick brief story. I was in the car. I lost my phone. I had a brother in the car with me. And the Spirit told me, well, just use the brother phone for GPS. Obviously, your phone is not lost because it's connected to the Bluetooth in the car. So I said, cool. But then I said, fuck, I don't want to do that. I want my phone now. I want to set up the tunes. Make sure my brother got a, you know, his nice little drink set up. Just vibing and shit, man. But that ain't what the Lord wanted to do. And I, I damn near had a nervous breakdown because I couldn't find my phone. Like, I just wanted to go home. This is after, like, two days of me being up, like, straight up. You know, we... He was entertaining the brothers from West Palm. So, you know, I'm being hospitable, 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 whatever, hospitality. Let's say that shit. <laughs> About to waste my time on that word. Be, but being hospitable to, um, uh, you know, the brothers coming in town. So my body was tired. So I was like, man, I just need to go home and sleep. Lord, I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. But I would have been home if the Lord, I mean, if my ass would have just listened to the spirit. And you know what? Within these past two weeks, I've been learning so much on just being patient and letting the Lord guide me, you know? Because sometimes, you know, Reuben, you know, I'm a Reuben. Like sometimes Reuben could just be everywhere. But sometimes, Lord, hey, stop, retract, chill, and follow me, you know? So sometimes you just got to let go and let your how about Shimon Shai do what he got to do. And in all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Sirach 37 and 13. And let the count... And let the counsel of thy own heart stand, for there is a man, Salakia, for there is no man more faithful unto thee than it. For a man's mind sometimes wants to tell him more than seven watchmen that sit above on a high tower. All right? And, all, uh, uh, and above all this, pray. All right? Because you could be going to counsel. You know, sometimes the counsel you have is, is the counsel that the Lord wants you to go with. And then sometimes you know, damn, you know. Let me go to this brother ask for counsel. Let me go to this brother to ask for counsel. That's why it says, "Is no more, uh, no, it's no more faithful than it." It says, "For a man, mine sometimes wants to tell him more than seven watchmen, but it says uh, that sit above high tire." And it says this though, and above all this, pray to the Most High that He would direct thy ways in truth. And that's in everything, brothers. Whether you about to fuck a bitch, whether you about to go to the store, whether you trying to. Teach a brother a certain thing or, or, or your daughters or your family or your wife. Ask the Lord to guide you in that. Because he only is going to give you the right wisdom to do what you have to do. All right? Or he can send you off. You know, the Lord controls both sides, you know. I ain't going to forget about that. But I'm speaking on the righteous behalf. All right? This is Sirach 39 and 6. When the great Lord will. That's the point. When Yahweh will. He, uh, he, he should be filled with the spirit of understanding. So when the Lord is ready for you to learn different lessons, he'll give it to you. And the Wali Tiyahu Bashim Al Shah for letting me learn that lesson. And it was the most minute shit. A stupid ass phone, man. But it was the, the bigger picture was the lesson. Let go and let Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. All right? It says, He will be filled with the spirit of understanding. He shall pour out wise sentences and give thanks unto the Lord in his power. He shall direct his counsel and knowledge. And in his secrets, he shall meditate, man. But all that direction, all that counsel comes from what? Yahweh. Because it says when the great Lord will, he will fill him with the spirit of understanding. And understand this, we have the spirit of understanding, but we learn new things every day, brothers. New things about ourselves, new things about brothers, new things about the spirit. All right? And you have to... Have you, if you ever seen Dr. Sleep, when they went into that black girl's little mind, she had all, you know, when the black girl went into, um, 
No, when the white uh, the white lady went to the black girl's mind, you seen all those fouls, you know. But that's how the lessons that the Lord gives us is fouled in our spirit. But some fouls we haven't gotten to yet because we have to learn those fouls, and and that's the basis of this whole story for me. You know, the water how about Shimao Shai? That's all I can say. The water for that lesson. This is um. Psalms 37 and 23. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And that's why I said I'm speaking on the righteous behalf. All right. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And he delighted in his way. Though he fall, so sometimes in his truth, he's going to slip. All right. Righteous man stumbleth seven times. All right. He shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him, for Yahweh upholdeth him with his hand. So sometimes you got to. Let go. If you stumble, hey, let the Lord pick you back up. Let the Lord do what he going to do for you, man. All right? You, you, hey, don't find yourself fighting against your howl. All right? It's, it's a battle you ain't going to fucking win. Okay? And sometimes you have to know when you're going against the spirit. You have to catch the spirit in that moment. All right? And trust me, there's a voice that's going to tell you which way to go. That scripture is true. A voice uh, behind you telling you which way to go. All right? I roughly paraphrase. It says, Psalms 18 and 35. Thou hast given me the shield of, of thy salvation, and thy right hand hath holded me up. And thy great, uh, Salaki, and thy gentleness have made me great. Yahweh Bashim Shai has great mercies upon us, man. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me that my feet did not slip. So you may stumble a little bit, but hey, the Lord's going to let you be solid, man. He ain't going to let you utterly fall, uh, utterly fall out, all right, if you're the elect, all right? But all the, this whole point, like I asked the Lord yesterday, why why we just couldn't get the, gen, uh, the Jeremiah 31 from the get-go? You, know, you know, I'm speaking to the Lord in my meditation on Shabbat, and the Lord gave me the best answer. He said, if I would have gave you uh, Jeremiah 31 and 31... <laughs> There's no lesson learned. And that's the point. We have to let go and let Yahweh and learn these. This is the whole point. We're reaching for the tree of life right now. This is a whole lesson book. All right? This is, what they say, a schoolmaster, man. All right? Psalms 119 and 32. Look upon me and be merciful upon me as thou uh, usest to do unto those that love thy name. Order my steps in thy word. Yeah, that's the old black. Order my steps in thy word. You know, that old Baptist shit. But it's a scripture. Order my steps in thy word. What's the word? The scriptures, man. All right? That you use as the frontlets of your eyes. And let not any iniquity have dominion over you. Like Paul said, I will not come under, uh, damn, under subjection of anything. Basically, he was going to have uh, nothing that was going to have control over him. Whether it was his flesh whether it was material things, whatever, all right? Because all that eventually turns into iniquity, all right? Proverbs 4 and 10. Hear, O oh my son, and receive my sayings. So, hey, you got to hear that spirit. You have to submit yourself to your how about Shimei Shai so you can even hear. That's why it says, bow thy ear, okay? And the years of thy life shall be many. I have taught thee in the way of wisdom. And have led thee in the right paths. When thou goest, thy, uh, thy steps shall not be straightened. And when thou runnest, thou shall not stumble. Take, take fast hold of instruction. That instruction comes from the spirit. You have to listen to it, brothers. Hold fast, unto, uh, hold fast of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her. For she is thy life. This wisdom, this spirit of power, Yahweh Shem is the only thing that's keeping us alive. All right? Because without this covering, we are fucking toast. Okay? Proverbs 16 and 9. A man heart devises his way, but Yahweh directeth his steps. Because sometimes you'd be like, damn, should I do this, do this? But eventually, the Lord is going to give you your answer. He's going to direct your steps. Okay? Proverbs 20 and 24. Okay? It says, a man goings is of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? There you go. There you go. I couldn't understand the ways of Reuben till the Lord let me know. He said, just, 